540. You're on. Thank you. So, the first order of business, uh, we had uh, a meeting on October 1st. We circulated the minutes from the meeting. Are there any corrections or additions to the... You weren't here. <laughs> <laughs> Corrections or additions to the uh, to the minutes? No, they look good. Okay. Uh, accept the motion. Motion. Then I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. Excellent. So the other piece of business, obviously, we still are down a member, um, and uh, I did reach out to Lisa to see if she would consider coming back and taking over for her son, and she said she would if uh, if. There's another, there's another name, uh, Susan Ossoff gave me a name of a gentleman who had expressed some interest, so I'm going to reach out to him and see if he's uh, serious about mm -hmm. coming on board. But if, if he doesn't, then, uh, then Lisa will come back and join us. So we, will, we won't be uh, shorthand for long, fortunately, so that's good. Um, Liz is here. Uh, I asked her to come and join us uh, for a little bit this, uh, this evening just to kind of discuss the budget process for the coming uh, fiscal year. Uh, we approved the letter that she mm -hmm. sent around and she had drafted for the selectmen and us to send around and that went out about a month ago, give or take, um, just announcing the uh, the new budget process mm -hmm. and how she would be uh, acting on our behalf. Um, so we just thought we'd kind of have an open discussion sure. about that. And, I don't sure. know if you want to kind of... So what I was planning to do, I've already started drafting the budget memo. Mm -hmm. It looks very similar to what <coughs> FinCom normally would send out, um, but a few differences with the process. It would be everybody returning the items to me, mm -hmm. um, and then I would plan to meet with the departments individually. Um, I'll probably bring Barbara in the mix on some, just for the kind of the background piece, mm -hmm. too, on how some of the budgets have changed mm -hmm. over the years. Um, and then we were thinking that for some of the smaller departments or the departments that are within the townhouse here, assuming that there was nothing major that came up, um, when I come to FinCom, the thought was that I could then present those budgets to your group um, and maybe we could kind of streamline the process a little bit so that it wasn't, you know, multiple meetings with, with the same departments over and over again. Mm -hmm. um, so kind of streamline in that regard. Um, my plan, I looked at some of your past budget memos, including the one that I had received last year, and it looks like normally those went out um, like end of December, like right around the holidays. So my plan was to get this year's out um, Monday, December 3rd, to give myself an extra few weeks to kind of allot for that time for meeting with mm -hmm. some of the smaller departments. Um, and it looked like in the past, say for instance last year, they were due back to FinCom by January 31st. Um, so I was gonna put a date in there of January 8th to have the items back to me, meet with people in that time, and then I was planning to update the spreadsheet that Nate manages. Um, we're gonna share a link so that we can both access it electronically and both make updates. I was planning to manually enter in um, all the budget requests and then send it to FinCom as one complete package um, by that same date, by the end of January, so that you have it in the time frame that you're used to having it. Mm -hmm. um, but in the meantime, I've already done kind of the legwork behind the scenes as far as meeting with some of those um, various departments and everything. In talking with me um, a little bit today. Excuse me. Oh, no problem. Um, in talking with Nate a little bit today, we were thinking that um, it would probably make sense for the school department um, and possibly police and fire to mm -hmm. still come into this group, um, and I can attend to certainly, sure. but as you normally would, just where the, those departments are larger and they may also have some capital items and some different things. Um, so kind of have that be a more um, a process that we do kind of together. Mm -hmm. Um, but all the others, for the most part, unless there was something really major, um, yeah. I don't see any reason in your group having to convene multiple meetings mm -hmm. to meet with all those different entities if I can kind of condense it all into mm -hmm. one 
um, report. So that's what we were thinking for the budget process. Well, we've sort of talked about that before, and I, I, I think I told you that, that the committee was all in favor of having fewer meetings. <laughs> so, um, yeah, okay, well, it's a lot for people to have to keep coming out, and then if something doesn't jive with someone's schedule, and well, then we have had, to meet again. You know, last year, just looking at our calendar from last year, we had one, two, three, four, we had four, five days. Of, of meetings that we held with with department heads, um, you know, to go over the different things, and so you know, if we can cut that in half or, or cut it down to two days, you know, that's what I was thinking. That'd be perfect, and then we can and then we can just meet with you, because and obviously you're pretty accessible. I mean, right. You know, you're here all the time, so right. it wouldn't have, it's easier for the departments, I would think, as well. Too, I would so. imagine so, because yeah. not all of them are accustomed to being here on. You know, on Monday nights or even various other evenings. Yep. Um, so I think that that would work pretty well. Um, it's also fewer people to try to coordinate. I mean, right. you have your own group mm -hmm. as a, as a whole to worry about and having a quorum and everything. Yep. At least if it's only me and we're kind of comparing schedules mm -hmm. and planning out the meetings as opposed to, you know, multiple other departments mm -hmm. or chairs from boards and commissions and, yeah. and that sort of thing I, so uh, again it makes sense to me mm -hmm. I don't I don't see any reason why I mean some of the departments the budget doesn't change from year to year but yet they still come in here every year and, and, and right. talk to us which is great it's nice mm -hmm. to see them and all but mm -hmm. uh, right it's not really necessary I don't think so yeah I'm, I'm in favor of that I don't know if Marilyn has any thoughts one way or the other I think she probably well, we'll let her speak for herself when she gets back. So, mm -hmm. okay. Um, okay. So yeah, police, fire, uh, probably. In the school. In schools, yeah, definitely. Obviously, schools, are, and they, they they always come in and make a big presentation to mm -hmm. us anyway. So. Which is fine, and then that way too, they only do the presentation once. I can plan to attend rather yeah. than them. Mm -hmm. Right. I won't plan to meet with the school ahead of time. Yeah. Now, when they have their meetings throughout, you know, leading up to I that process. That's okay. Yeah, of course. But, um, we, are you planning on attending some of those? I or? was, okay. just to kind of see how the process comes together. Because we always haven't been able to, I mean, Steve was pretty good. He attended a couple of meetings last year for us, but we Which always, ones? the school committee, the school committee yeah, yeah they, they, they sometimes meet different nights so I just wanted to make sure that someone yeah I can gonna be I can plan to go to a few of those and then we were just saying that for the schools definitely and potentially police and fire that we would have them make the presentation to the finance committee like they've done in the past just because for some of those especially the schools I mean they're just it's so large and they they usually have kind of an elaborate presentation so could also have them only do it once and I can just come to whatever meeting they're doing it rather than sitting down with me and then going through the whole thing again well and as we were talking as we were talking earlier today too i think you know the fire department we i think we're curious as to how that okay. that's going to look yeah you know yes, this year under are. new leadership and mm -hmm. that'll know. be a i think that's going to be kind of a team effort yeah. for this first year yeah. um fine. the new chief is starting november 19th and he's coming to us with a wealth of knowledge and expertise but I think that's going to be kind of a tall order for him mm -hmm. to be brand new to the position and then immediately getting the budget request. Um, and he's going to have to get up to speed on what's left in his current budget and kind of where things yeah. stand because he wasn't involved in, in drafting that. Mm -hmm. And I don't think any of us quite knew the direction that that department was headed in when, when we put that budget together. Absolutely. So, yep. um, yeah, so that'll probably be more of a team effort. Um, I've already started discussing with him and with Barbara. He's come in quite a few times even though he hasn't officially started yet. He's a town resident so he's already being helpful That's good. Um, and we sat down he, Barbara and I and you know said that we'll set up a, a following meeting once he's on board to kind of go over where everything stands and those kinds mm -hmm. of things. So I think that he'll be a very good fit for us and um, I don't expect any problems but we've already offered to sort of help them out as far as getting him up to speed mm. and really help him plan for the future too. I think they need sort of a master plan over there to kind of figure mm. out mm -hmm. where they're going from here um, 
So he'll be able to work on that and continue on some of the good work that Chief Benjamino set us up with. Great. Did you have any other concerns no. or questions? Or we were talking. We had mentioned the the column on the spreadsheet. Yes. Was did that come from you or yeah. the TA a recommendation? Call? Call? Yeah. Yeah. So that was an idea that I had. Um, and I don't know if you like it or not, we don't have to do it this way, but I was thinking that for our purposes, I could add a column that says TA recommendation. Um, in most cases, I'm hoping that it's the same as the budget request, but yeah. in some cases, if it's not, I thought it would be good to have a separate spot on there where I could kind of call that out and then have the reasons why so that when we meet it would just help facilitate I think like discussion okay, around the I things think I misunderstood you um, are you thinking of having that column as well on the spreadsheet for town meeting no okay, okay. I thought okay. that we would delete the column okay. by the time we've finished our meetings and FinCom votes on the budget mm -hmm. then it's just whatever FinCom voted yeah. on the budget that would go to town meeting but I was thinking for our strategic okay. purposes, like when we're all meeting, mm -hmm. to talk about the different departments. If, say, for instance, somebody had a request and I said, well, you know, no, I think it should be X because of these reasons, mm -hmm. that it would be nice to just have a quick way of kind of calling that out. So as you're scanning the spreadsheet and we're meeting, it could be like, oh, wait a minute, you have a different figure here. What's going on? And then... You know, I'll have the notes yeah. and kind of the background. I think that it. sounds pretty good because we were talking about. We were just afraid that it might, if it was on there for town meeting, that it might. We be thought it would get confusing. confusing yeah, yeah. Get confusing, yeah. and I also don't want to undermine the process. I mean, sure. FinCom's motion is always the main motion, and and what it is. So I think that part's fine. I was just thinking more for like behind the scenes. Oh, that's purposes. fine. Yeah. No. Again. Yeah. We were just we just didn't want to. But go, delete it for we, town. Right. Meeting. We just didn't want to go before the town and say, okay, here's selectmen say this. Finn comes says this. Right. She says yeah. this. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah. We, didn't, we wanted to present a united front wherever yes. possible. Obviously. Absolutely. So. No. Yeah. And that was my intention too. That sure. we would just delete that before town meeting. Yeah, that's fine. We could probably. And we don't have to do it that no, way can, either with the column. Drop, we can probably just drop something right in, right in. That's fine, but if it causes an issue with formatting or the macro or anything. Macro's already not working. So. <laughs> <laughs> if it causes any issue, though, there's no reason why I can't just go down and highlight on my own copy and then come and meet with you. Are you an Excel whiz by any chance? Are you really? Oh, there's a yeah. macro issue. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're my favorite thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, you probably heard me from your house. I was throwing stuff last night <laughs> trying to get oh. this thing to work. Uh, Good, awesome. We'll talk yeah. later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's something totally stupid that I'm not doing, mm. but anyway. Um, Cool. I th is, is there anything else about the process? So yeah, so looking at, again, looking at the calendar from last year, you're right, we, we sent out the forms at, uh, we had our final meeting on the December 13th to where we finalized the budget request documents and we sent them out uh, right after Christmas and with a deadline of Wednesday the 31st. So, so I was thinking of getting so you the push it same up, push it up info about three at the weeks, same time basically. you're used to it, but me just get it yeah. sooner mm -hmm. so That's that. Fine. About a month earlier. Yeah. yeah, just yeah. to get some stuff out of the way. Sure. I'll be curious to see how the department heads respond because I know we've always heard that sometimes they, they, they feel a little rushed or it's too soon to... Yeah, you know, so. that's funny, too. Every place does it different. I did talk with my counterparts in some of the other towns, and some of them send out the information, like the request forms, before Thanksgiving mm. and get it back, like, early December. I think that's a little soon because you still might not know mm. how other factors are going to play, play into things, but... I don't know. I think it'll be fine. It's only, like, three we'll, weeks sooner. Yeah, so. we'll give it a go and see how it goes. Yeah. You can always adjust it for... For next year, too. Yeah. 21. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, any other comments about the budget process sounds, or what we think? Sounds very how reasonable How we hope it goes? Yes. Yeah, yes. I know. We'll, we'll try it. Yeah. This is what we hope for. Yes, <laughs> that's right. I gotta say. Yeah. All right. Awesome. So then, okay. uh, Liz, as long as you're here, she also submitted a request for a uh, reserve fund transfer that we'll take up. And it's, it's for the building department uh, administrative assistant line um, 
who is working uh, more hours than, than was budgeted originally due to additional tasks and the overall workload of the building department that's going on. So the request has come in to uh, increase her hourly, her weekly hours uh, by four hours a week starting in December. And so they've calculated that out and uh, they're looking for approximately $2,500. So I don't know if you want to speak to that at all. Sure. Or? So it's, it's for um, Kathy Wright. She's the administrative assistant in the building department. She wears a lot of different hats here. Um, she does all the work for the building department, um, the folks from inspectional services. She also does everything for the um, zoning board, um, the zoning enforcement officer, the planning board, and we're trying to integrate her in the future a little bit more with CONCOM as well. Um, but she's doing an excellent job. Um, She's basically kind of the glue that keeps everything together down there, especially with having so many part-time inspectors and whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, so the hope was just that we could increase her by four hours a week. Um, she's kind of drowning down there, honestly, with all the stuff that's coming in. Um, there's a lot of big projects on the horizon, and there's a lot of correspondence going back and forth. Um, even some things with the different boards that she works with as far as like pending litigation and stuff. Um, She's really kind of holding everything together down there, and um, we just thought that maybe adding four hours to her work week starting the very first week in December was kind of a practical decision, and hopefully we could allocate the bulk of the four hours maybe to CONCOM, because she's doing some stuff for them already. Um, and I believe there was a prior arrangement made that she would do a little bit of their clerical stuff as far as like opening mail and those kinds of things. Um, and I don't think her schedule has previously really allowed for that. So it would be nice to kind of include them. And it's also good too, um, in our opinion, as far as the cohesiveness of those different departments. A lot of times when there's a filing before the planning board, Chances are there might be wetlands involved, and so there's a CONCOM filing anyway, um, and that sort of thing. So just making sure that each board has the same information available and, and whatnot. Um, but she's certainly, she's rose to the occasion. There's been a lot of stuff that's come up over the last few months, and she's doing a wonderful job. So our thought was just maybe to increase her hours as opposed to looking into bringing on somebody else. Um, and having to start from scratch. So by way of background, when the building department submitted their budget request for fiscal 19, they had asked to increase her hours at that time, uh, two hours a week. So this is going back and revisiting that and then adding a couple more hours based on, on experience. We at the time, if you, if you recall, we, we decided that we would uh, keep them at current staffing levels because we wanted to um, uh, give Liz a chance to kind of get her feet wet. She has, was new to what, three months into the, into the role, so we thought it would give her an opportunity to kind of get a feel for the landscape and, and see how things go. Um, I think we also expressed some concern about how uh, maybe the nature of the work was not necessarily consistent in the building department mm -hmm. because of building permits and such so that if obviously when there's a lot of building going on in town the workload would increase and then it could conceivably De wane. Decrease. So I, I think we had some concerns about that as well. So that's just uh, just a little background for discussion. Um, we have also uh, in the past It's not comparing apples to apples, but their their uh, administrative assistant has increased from um, it was about twelve thousand dollars in fiscal seventeen. It was twenty five thousand dollars in fiscal eighteen, and it is twenty six thousand dollars this year. Now we did combine when we went from seventeen to eighteen. We did combine some of the um, we took some money from conservation, for example. They had two thousand dollars budgeted and we put it in this line to consolidate the lines. So it, it's not a simple d doubling of, you know, of, of salary, but we have increased it pretty significantly over the last couple of years. So that's it for uh, background. Um, 
Hi. We would also, too, the, another thing to point out is that we would be um, interested, even if we increase the hours and if you wanted to go, say, two hours a week and kind of see how that goes with the understanding that we think there might be a need for four. Um, I think that we're going, when budget time comes around, I think that CONCOM is probably going to be putting in requesting five hours a week approximately for somebody to do clerical. So that was part of what also factored into the thought process on this was kind of like, well, maybe we can sort of negate that request like right out of the gates and be like, here's your clerical person, but it's four hours per week. Um, but the bulk of what she'll be doing will largely be CONCOM um, to preserve that line of communication and that cohesiveness down there. But at least it's a body in the office um, for more hours to respond to anybody who goes down there. Like she's the main point of contact. Mm -hmm. A lot of days she's the only person down there. Mm -hmm. Another way of looking at it is there is, as of November 1st, there is still $17,000 in the budget line, so it's not Yeah, we haven't gone, we haven't let her go over. Um, she just seems like she's kind of sinking with that workload and everything. Um, so we wanted to approach and ask for the money up front to plan ahead for it. I didn't want to authorize somebody to work more hours than what they're budgeted for and then come to you later and say, oh, you know, we're... We're out of money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which we appreciate. Mm -hmm. um, so, thoughts, comments, discussion? Motion for a vote? I mean, anything no are you gonna do you think they will be asking for an additional hour since they wanted five concom wanted five and we're giving four i think they'll be looking for more than just the administrative assistant but i haven't received anything official to that regard i think they may be looking for to add another position um in the future so i think that'll be a whole separate discussion mm -hmm. in and of itself um so I think the four hours for Kathy, they did express that they think she does a good job with the other boards. Um, so I think that that would be something that they would be amenable to. Um, I don't know if they'd come back and ask for a fifth hour or not. Well, I would think that since CONCOM doesn't really have, at least in the budget, they don't have a, a line for administrative assistance, they would need to work through the building department so they would need to make their case to Tom right and have him submit it on their behalf if they want that extra hour mm -hmm. or whatever so right they, and this they really couldn't make the request directly themselves and this mm -hmm. would also benefit them if if you do vote on this because it would go into effect the first week in December it's different than them having to wait sure until the next budget cycle sure. so that gives them some immediate relief and um, obviously they've got a lot going on at the moment so. they have a lot happening right now so I think that they could just use somebody even if it's the smaller stuff like just making sure that you know that they're up to date on their messages and that they're that the mail is being checked and properly processed and that sort of thing uh, again my only fear and it's not really a fear but it's it's just knowing how things work you know if you authorize somebody to go up to whatever this will put her at 26 28 hours a week she'll always be at 28 hours a week even if the work for time immemorial mm -hmm. um, that's my only mm -hmm. real concern I don't doubt that right now the work is needed and I, I don't object to that at all but um, I'm reluctant to I certainly respect that that opinion I can see how you'd feel that way I mean, reasonably speaking, we're not going to take hours away from somebody once they're right. working them. Right. I'm just being realistic. Yeah. I don't see us going back to anybody saying, oh, you know, it doesn't seem as busy down there, so we're taking away your four hours. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So I don't know how we would work that in the current landscape. Right. Is right now a particularly busy time? Like, if we look through sort of like the past five years or so, is this like unusual or... It seems like it's unusual, not so much for the building department, but more for the different boards and commissions. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different projects going on. 
Um, there's some pending litigation going on and the attorneys are basically considering her kind of like the point person for those boards. Um, so they're sending a lot of stuff to her. There's a lot more going into like her meeting prep, um, especially what she does say like for planning board, like with the advertisements and kind of keeping track of all that stuff, making sure that abutters are notified. Um, it's all kind of like regulatory stuff mm -hmm. that she's doing for the boards. Um, the building department itself, they're, they're busy down there, um, but I wouldn't say that it's you know abnormal mm. as far as how busy they are it's really like the the zoning board and the planning board um, we also have the new zoning enforcement officer and I think he's keeping her kind of busy as far as like he's following up on different things and making some suggestions of bylaw edits and things like that so I think um, just with the current landscape down there it's really like the boards and commissions that are kind of pushing things over the top Okay. Somebody want to make a motion? Make a motion that we. 251280. 251280. I'll second it. <laughs> <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. If you'd like to, I can express to this individual that um, this is being done to facilitate these hours through the end of the fiscal year, but that during the budgeting process, we'll be re-examining the workload and treat that like a clean slate with the budget process. I think we would appreciate that. Yeah, yeah okay. that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and we can reevaluate it then, and I yeah, can let that be known. Like, your, your 26 hours are guaranteed, but the additional four you know that may or may not happen right. with the next budget cycle mm -hmm. I mean I know in the greater scheme of things it's 2,500 bucks it's not going to bankrupt us but it all adds up it all it does, does yeah okay finance can you go three Okay, so while on the subject of uh, reserve fund transfers, we have a request from the uh, <coughs> cemetery department, well, it's from Barber, on behalf of the cemetery department. They have a bill here for uh, $650 uh, for trimming of the cemeteries, and uh, she's requesting that it come out of the line for cemetery department and my interpretation would be that it should come out of the cemetery labor line. We did create a second line, a separate line for labor. So um, I don't think the labor line has been touched yet. So I would what's in there? Should be two thousand dollars, which is or twenty-two hundred dollars, which is what we put in there last year at the budget season. And uh, if I read this correctly, the the printout that she gave me. Okay, so she wants to come out of. She wants it to come out of three twenty, which out is three twenty, which is cemetery department. Right. But there's twenty two hundred dollars in, in three twenty two, which is cemetery labor. Okay. And there isn't anything in three twenty left. Current line balance is three hundred thirteen dollars. Okay. In three twenty. Mm-hmm. So I I don't know I I think I don't. Personally, think we can act on this because I need to clarify with Barbara, because the line that the printout that she gave me here shows three hundred thirteen dollars as a balance, but the description of the line is salaries and wages clerical. So lawn mowing is not clerical, mm -mm. and 
I thought the reason we implemented that line last year was for this type of stuff. We took we took money, transferred money from the um, uh, DPW lines, and we, we broke it off into cemetery to kind of keep track of it. So maybe I think we just need to clarify with Barbara mm -hmm. um, to see if maybe I'm I'm understanding it wrong or just some sort of clarity that needs to be done. Does that make sense to everybody? Mm -hmm. Do you, you don't know anything about this? I maybe? don't. Okay. I, I'm happy to check with her tomorrow if that makes yeah, it like easier. It, it, if you don't mind, that'd sure. be great. Yeah, um, I just think it should be line three twenty two. Okay, so I can mention that to her that tomorrow. Won't need a transfer, and then it won't need a transfer, right? Won't need a reserve fund transfer. Mm -hmm. She should be able to just pay it right out of twenty three twenty two. Okay. So I, I can talk to her about okay. that. Okay. Perfect. Okay. It's mine, but you can have it. If you well, I just want to know if I'm forgetting anything oh. from the. Is there nothing else we need to do about the unemployment? I did not get a. Rec do you know if the chief's unemployment has been um, resolved? I, we I, we paid a month ago. I recall that, and I thought that it was all set. But we didn't. They had requested. It was three thousand dollars then. They had requested, you know, up to. Well, they said that the maximum it could be would be fourteen thousand, but we transferred three thousand. So maybe the three thousand covered enough to get us through mm -hmm. a month. I think it covered it at least for the month. But okay. let me verify that we had a yeah, Barbara and I had a conversation. So, so that would be roughly six weeks. Right. Okay, so Barbara and I talked about nice this last week, okay. but not. It wasn't clear if it was already like taken care of. She had said that they, she had sent something to you and made you aware of the situation. Yeah, well, we um, just and she had mentioned that three thousand number. Right, which we had approved last month. We, but we, because we didn't want to approve right. a bucket of money if it was never going to be needed. Um, so, but we Let also me we also that. kind of assumed that we would be seeing something on a monthly basis. Mm -hmm. or, okay. So, I'll get an update on that. Okay. All right. Excellent. I think that's all we had on the agenda. Is there any <coughs> other items that uh, we need to address or discuss? Or um, I had gone ahead and, and scheduled a meeting or proposed a meeting for next, the first Monday of December, with the thought that if we could kind of get into a regular thing, we'd mm -hmm. at least all know ahead of time when we're getting requests for our time elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So if that's okay with... That's the third? It's the... December third. Is it the third? I had it on the bottom of that. Oh. The... the yeah. Okay. December third. So December third. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Yep. Okay. Um, so yeah, so if we can do that, that would be... And if five thirty is too early, we can do we can do six o'clock or, or five forty five. No, okay, all right. I, literally, I leave work and I come here. I, I told you, I passed you twice. I, <laughs> I thought you'd pick Marilyn up on the way. <laughs> That's just the way I come back from the middle of <laughs> uh, Okay, so and then uh, by then, oh, we also uh, next month we'll need to take a look at the um, capital plan because we we didn't really do much with that last year. So we haven't really revisited that. So we'll need to take a look at that next month to kind of see where we stand, if the existing requests on the five-year plan are, are valid or some of them have been already finan financed and, and approved and, or if we need to kind of shuffle stuff around. So that'll be on the agenda for next month. Okay. If there's nothing else, I'll take a motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 614.